We'll guide you through the best free Minecraft server hosts. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Before we get into the free servers, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. Apex Hosting do offer paid servers, but the benefits of paid servers are huge. For example, the server is available 24 seven. There aren't any ads or waiting periods when trying to start your server because it will already be turned on. There's 24 seven support of Apex and you have access to way more server resources as well. And also there are loads of benefits with Apex. For example, things like one click install mod packs and a load more other benefits, which you can go and see on the screen right now. And at the moment you can get 50% off monthly plans as well. So if you're interested in Apex hosting, I'll put a link in the comments and the description. Now let's get into the first free Minecraft server host. And this one is Atenos. Atenos is one of the biggest free Minecraft server hosts out there. So come to the website atenos.org and then you can go and click on the play button and then you can go and sign up for a free account. When you sign up for your account, you can go and create a server. So here we are on the service page. I'll click on create. There are gonna be ads because they've got to make money, but then you can choose if you want a Java or a Bedrock server and you can then change the name and things like that. I'm just gonna hit create just to get started quickly and you can then go and change the software and the version, but I'm just gonna go and start the server and show you it working. So I already accept the EULA uh, and then I have to watch this quick ad before we can get started. The server has now started and what we can do is go and copy the address here. So I'll highlight it and right click it and press copy. And Atenos have got a ton of features over on the left here. As I said before, you've got your options, which you can go and check out. You've got your console, which is pretty straightforward. And then you've got your software as well. You can also install mods and plugins on Atenos as well. And as you can see, you get 2,400 megabytes of RAM. But anyways, let's join this server. We're now in multiplayer. So let's press on direct connection and then we can paste the address in, press join server. We've now loaded it into our Minecraft Atenos server. Now let's get into the next host. The second free host is called Minehut. So come to minehut.com and then you can go to the top right and you press on server hosting. You'll get taken to a login or a sign up page. So go and create your account if you don't already have one. And then what we can do is go and create a server. So let me go and click on create server like this. You can go and name it. I'll name mine guide realm high and then go and press create like this. And there we go. Our servers now appeared here. And then what we can do is go over to the right and press on activate like this. And the server is now starting. Now that the server has started, you can go and check out all the sections at the top. So you can go into your file manager and then down here, we can go and change the version. So we can go and install some mods if we change the version. For now, let's go and join it. To do that, just hover over to the right of your name and you can then go and see the IP and you just click it to copy it. And now let's go and join it. I'll tap on join server and just like that, we're now in here. So as you can see, we can go and get a custom resource pack. I'll just go and press yes. It then says, please read and respond to the terms. So when you move, you will need to go and select your age. After accepting the terms, you can then go and play on your Minecraft server. The third host is called Minefort. So come to minefort.com and then what you'll need to do is go to the top right and click on get started for free. After you've created your account, we can then go and create our server. So let me just go and name this guide realm. And then what you can do is either have a default server or select one from a template, which is quite cool. So if you click there, you've then got these different options here. Personally, I'm just gonna go for a default server and then go and click on create just like that. So as you can see, there's a lot of different things we can go and do on Minefort. You can go and check out the appearance, plugins, backups, files, properties, sub users, shop, and upgrades as well. But to go and get started, you just need to go to the top right and go press on start server. The server will then go and start as you can see it's starting. The server is now online, but what you can do is go into plugins and quickly go and add some. You can also go into your files and also your properties. And that's where you can go and change sort of world settings, your game mode, difficulty, things like that. But for now, let's go and join the server. So you can go and grab your IP just here. You can press on the copy button. I've just entered the server address. So let's press on join server. And now we're joining it and that's it. We're now in our server. Fourth host we're showing you is called server.pro. So go and click on try our free Minecraft servers just here. And as you can see, here we are. We want to click select our free plan here. Once you've done that, you can then scroll down and you can go and choose the game. So you could have Java or Bedrock, and then you can go and cho choose the version as well. Uh, and then what you can do is go and sign up for your account here. I've now created my account. I've just finished the setup process. I want to go for the free plan. 
Then you can choose your location. France is closest to me, so I'll select that there. And then I'll have the game to be Minecraft Java, just like this. And I want my host name to be Guide Realm. You can choose your type and the version. And then what you can do is go and click on Create Server, just like this. Here we are on our server dashboard. So on the left here, we've got a ton of different things. You've got your advanced settings. Then you've got your files, your console, your players, plugins, worlds, loads of awesome stuff. And if you scroll down on the server details page, you can go and choose your game mode. So for example, I'll just do creative and then you can just tap on save changes here. And then to start the server, all you need to do is press the power button in the top left, but I've already done mine. And then what we can do is go and join the server. So what you want to do is go and highlight the host name like this, or you can use the IP address as well. I'll just press copy here and then I'll open Minecraft. Let's paste the IP in just like so, then press join server and now we've gone and joined it. The next free host we're going over is called ScalarCube. So come to scalarcube.com and then what you just want to do is go to the top and press on Minecraft server hosting. Then you can go over to the left and click on view full list of plans. And as you can see, here is the free option. So you can then press on get your server. You can choose the game if, if you want Java or Bedrock or Pocket Edition, I should say, and then press next. You can then choose the location. So I'll just go for US West, then press next. And you can choose your game server. So this is basically sort of the version. So I want um, standard Minecraft 1.20.2, press select and then next. You can choose your plan again. So I want to go for the free version. So I'll click on next on the free one just here. And then I'll have the IP address as that's free. And then you can choose if you want a backup. So I'll select that to no and then press next. And now what we need to do is sign up for our account. After you've signed up, you'll be taken to your servers and you can just press on continue like that. You may need to do a capture and you may need to enter and you may need to enter a verification code as well. I did and then your free server will be created. And so here it is. If I go over to the left and click on servers, I can then click on the server just here and it's now configuring, which says it may take up to 24 hours. My server is now available. So if I go over to the right and click on manage server, it'll take a moment to load and then you can just go and choose your version again. I want 1.20.2. I'll then press install and then it should go and start. Here are our game servers. So what you want to do is go and copy the IP import so we can go and join it. And then you can go and press on the turn on button like this. And the server is now going to go and start. Once it's started, press on next like so. And then you can copy the IP. Let's go and join the server. I'll go and paste the IP in like so, and then press join server. And just like that, we've now gone and joined it. And now what you can do is go and give your IP to your friends and they can join and you can play together. So I hope you did find this guide useful and you've now know a ton of different free Minecraft server hosts you can check out.